Uh, first thing I normally start off by doing is replacing the oil filter. Um, that'll kind of tell me, um, you know, integrity of the tank uh, to an extent. It'll tell me if there's, you know, any, any water inside of oil, um, you know, how often they get the maintenance done, all that I can kind of tell just by looking at the oil filter. Um, then the other thing I make sure of is whenever I take the oil filters out, I'll actually open up the valve to the tank um, just to make sure that your uh, tank valve isn't obstructed because that is uh, it's also extremely important. That's kind of the first um, step. I always, always, always start here because if you don't have a clean oil filter, then nothing else after it's going to be clean. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the pump strainer. Um, this is one of the things that a lot of people do miss. Um, especially with this furnace because this one's uh, kind of hard to get to, but I have this thing to kind of help me squeeze uh, squeeze the tool in there and pull the bolts off for it. And it's pretty much the same thing as an oil filter, except it's another one closer to your burner. It basically picks up everything your, your oil filter didn't catch. So it's very, very important to do this yearly. The essential second to last step is getting to the, uh, getting to the nozzle. This one can be a little tricky sometimes, but it's important. You can't skip it. And just judging by how the nozzle looks, I'm able to kind of see how um, well or unwell the burner was running. It's the component that's in constant, um, you know, constant flame. So you're able to see the condition of them pretty well. That's good. So it was burning well. So basically this is the last step of doing a oil furnace maintenance. Um, we're basically just checking the combustion on it. This is more or less gonna tell us if the system is essentially safe to operate. Um, so a couple numbers we look for, um, you want your carbon monoxide levels to be as close to zero as possible. Um, stack temp, typically I look for around 350 or higher, which looks like we're gonna be right there. Um, oxygen, I want somewhere around 5%. CO2, I want somewhere around 12%. Um, if you get to those numbers, everything else should fall in line. So as our oxygen starts to drop, so does our CO2, or carbon monoxide rather. This thing is doing very well, actually. Like spot on.